Hi, everybody. It's Andy Fell here, the founder of Gift631. And um, yeah, I trust you set up for an amazing week. So this is part five of our live series where, you know, I'm really laying out my um, desired future state. I'm sharing my SMUT goals and then I'm taking everyone on the journey from where we are today um, in the pursuit of those uh, SMUT goals through to about April 2025. There's some massive um, goals that, are, that I've got. And um, I'm really going to be stress testing uh, my GIF631 content, a lot of which is shared uh, in my book, uh, The Rocking Chair Test. I'm also writing uh, two more books, which are going to be part of um, that journey that I'm going to share with you as well. As you can probably tell, I've just come in from a run. Uh, this is one of the exciting things about this process, actually. Um, I haven't run all year. Um, I've had some problems with my the tendons in my right foot, and that's led to some uh, acute um, Achilles tendonitis um, at the back of my my right ankle. So I've kind of had this mindset that I've really just got to wait it out. And then once I started doing these um, videos, I realized that to be as mentally fit as I want to be, I'm going to get incredibly physically fit again. So um, I've started back on the journey to run. Um, I'm a lot slower than I'm used to being. I'm a little bit stiffer um, and um, I'm going to get back there. So um, yeah, let's lay out the goal. I want to be marathon fit. Um, by the start of 2025, and I want to get my weight down to 70 kilos. So I'm currently weighing in at a, a whopping 75.2 kilos. So over the next uh, three months, I'm going to push that in the direction of 70 kilos. So real focus on my physical health, which I believe will um, give me obviously in, uh, improved energy. I'll be more creative. I'll be more resilient. I'll be more persistent. I'll think better more innovative. I just have more energy all around. So it's uh, it's really going to help me on that journey. Um, a little bit crazy today. It's uh, it's winter here actually on Australia's Gold Coast. I didn't get out till just before midday for a reason I'll come on to in a minute. Um, in It's 26 degrees centigrade here. So what's that? It's in the 80s Fahrenheit and, and this is winter. Um, so it really is a hot winter's day. Um, at this point, actually, I also just want to um, send my love and best wishes to everyone on the island of Maui in Hawaii. Obviously, um, you know, just been hit by those absolutely devastating bushfires. Um, we've been to Maui three times in the last seven or eight years. It's one of my favorite places in the world. So uh, as a family, uh, we'll be doing everything we can um, to, to help uh, those who've been uh, impacted. So love and best wishes to everybody from the amazing uh, island of Maui. Um, so this is a this is a massive massive week. Um, I thought I'd just briefly share uh, some of the actions that I'm currently taking. Um, first of all, I'm delighted to say uh, Apple, my virtual assistant from the Philippines, Apple and I have started working together this week. So I'm going to have four hours a day uh, of Apple's time to help me grow and scale and, and bring better value uh, to all of my audiences through F Future You, through what winners do. Um, through the rocking chair test and through gift 631 whether you touch my business um, informally like YouTube through a coaching relationship through some leadership talent development work so um, welcome Apple I'm absolutely delighted to be working with you um, a couple of things that Apple's going to help me with this week um, we're going to do <clears throat> more and more thumbnails to my previous content on YouTube we're going to create a landing page for the rocking chair test where you can access all the action sheets that I talk about uh, through the book. And also we're going to generate some additional action sheets. And um, if you're one of my future coaching clients, um, Apple is also going to generate an action sheet that's like pre-work that I sent to you before we commence that coaching relationship, which is really going to fine tune um, how I interact with some of my coaching clients. Um, the reason I, I was later at my run today was um, my eldest daughter, Emma, came over Emma's a highly successful entrepreneur, um, runs a, a health and well-being Arbonne business as an exec executive national vice president. Uh, she also has her own app with her business partner, Maddie, called In Charge. Strongly recommend you go and check that out. Um, Emma and I are going to spend the day together on Thursday after my virtual book launch building uh, my own website. So I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. Emma's in charge uh, website is, is just world class and she's she's just got a, an eye for world class. She's got an eye for creativity uh, as well as detail. So I'm really, really pumped about that. So between Apple and Emma, we're going to make some massive 
progress this week. Now, I mentioned my virtual book launch on Thursday, highly indebted to Manny Martinez over there on um, the west coast of the United States in Washington State and Alan Chapman up in Aberdeen in the northeast of Scotland. <clears throat> the three of us are collaborating on my first virtual book launch, which is 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. on the 17th in New Zealand. They're both the 17th of August. It's 2 p.m. Pacific time on the west coast of Canada, the United States, uh, and Mexico there. Um, and then you can work out your time zones through um, North America and South America, for that matter. A little bit late um, in uh, Western Europe. It's, uh, it's 10 o'clock, certainly in the UK. Um, but we will be doing a second virtual book launch the following week um, with Lisa Brindle and... Um, that will be in the morning in the UK and in the early evening here in Australia. But I'll get back to you with details of that um, on next week's live video. So um, tons of things uh, happening through the business. Go and check out Substack. I write a weekly article. This week, I, I believe if you have confidence challenges, I believe it will really help you. Or if you're a leader and you know you have people in your team who struggle with their self-belief, self-confidence, self-esteem, just get them to do uh, this exercise. And, and why not subscribe to both this channel, but also Substack, so you get an article a week to help you and those around you. And finally, it's a massive week this week. Uh, we just clicked over 631, very special uh, time for me. It's a massive week in the Women's World Cup. Um, I've been to two of the England Lionesses games with two of my daughters. Um, we take on the might of Australia's Matildas uh, this week in the semi-final of the Women's World Cup. Um, my daughters will be happy whoever wins, which is absolutely fabulous. And, and best wishes to Spain and Sweden in the other semi final as well. It's been a, a truly uplifting tournament. So that's me for this week. Um, wherever you are around the world, uh, please keep winning. If there's anything more you need from me, please do reach out and please remember, do subscribe so um, we can keep bringing great content to you. Take care. And uh, as I say, keep winning. <laughs>